What's up guys, it's your boy Darskin, and today we are going to be going over the Attack on Titan patch notes for the new update. So um, if you guys don't know, we are having the Attack on Titan update tonight, so let's go ahead and go over everything. Uh, please enjoy the collaboration's diverse content, including the World Quest, Titan Elimination, and Titan Conquest. Facts. So, new heroes, SSR Titan form Eren, which, let me, let me go ahead and pull these people up, uh, just in case you guys... Sorry, I w I'm not prepared because uh, I was playing Valorant with some friends. And we just won the wet match, by the way. Your boy was cooking. Um, so, yeah, that's that's why I'm not as prepared. But, anyways, we have the first Aaron, which is SSR Green Aaron. Um, obviously, he's, he's, he's not that bad. He has a transformation mechanic. Uh, this same card is Green Escanor 240, 300, 500. Then you go on to uh, 120. 120 to disable ultimate move gauge 180 to disable ultimate move gauge for two turns, which is aoe. It's pretty nice um, His ultimate is obviously transforms now. He gets attack related stats defense related stats HP related stats um, By 10% for five turns and he decreases the enemy's attack related stats by 30% for one turn now the thing about it is um, These all count as buffs and in his Titan form. He has amplify which is super super good. So um really really nice uh he's he's not that he's not crazy like the fact that you have to rush his ult then you have to get his ult and then you have to use cards after you've already used cards to get ult etc he just becomes not as good as he could be if he could just transform without it um increased damage per ult gauge and then uh, immune to ultimate move disabling effects nothing crazy right um sr aaron is just like i mean he's actually sr aaron is actually pretty good um as far as like skills and whatnot 240 300 500 um, he can buff himself, which is super nice. Um, and his ultimate is going to be doing 945%. You should have him 6'6". Six, six, so, there it is. Um, and he has Shatter on it, which is really nice. His passive's not anything crazy. But, you know, cool nonetheless. Levi, obviously the crit god. Same exact skills as Blue Zeldris. Spike, 160, 240, 400. Spike doing double crit damage. Um, AoE, 100, 150, 250 with Despair. Heals for 15% diminished HP when a critical hit occurs. His ultimate 630% damage cancels buffs and stances. And um, he will always crit the lowest H well, lowest percent HP target. So that is really nice. Mikasa. <sighs> man, 130, 195, 325. Bleed on all three. Secret technique. Um, AoE, 80, 120, 200. Then you go look at his... Um, her ultimate basic stats 50% for three turns 420% attack to one enemy and her passive is her redeeming factor for each ally that receives damage when attacked increase the hero stats by 3% up to 10 times this is all stats and it stacks per turn so if two allies get hit you get two stacks it's really really nice so um those are the characters uh moving on though um obviously those four and then collab pickup draw which is going to be the banner New costume scout regiment costume sets, which are going to be obviously all the sets for the characters, which I'll be getting all of those. New bundles, Attack on Titan special bundles 1 and 2, Attack on Titan guaranteed SSR bundle, special diamond bundle, Eren full upgrade bundle, Mikasa full upgrade bundle, Levi full upgrade bundle, SSR congen congeniality full awakening equipment bundle. Whew, it's a lot of different packs and information and stuff like that. Now, the thing about that is... Um, these are a lot of packs. None of them are really worth. I mean, maybe... I'm not entirely sure. Maybe the special diamond bundle might be... Maybe. But, like, getting the full upgrade ones are not worth. And, but like, I, I don't even know if I'm going to buy them. Like, usually when a character drops, I might, I'll might i buy it if it's, like, a really good character. Like, um, Red Escanor. Red Escanor came out. I bought his bundle. Just, you know, to basically guarantee all the resources, blah, blah, blah. Um, who else was it? I forgot who else, but it's just only characters that are like super. Blue Demon Meliodas, that's what it was. Blue Demon Meliodas dropped. I bought his bundle as well. So, um, I mean, honestly, you can farm. You can farm it though. Like if, like if you look at my resources, I already have all the stuff farmed, right? To get everything they need. Seventy SSR pendants. I got all the. I, I got everything I need, right? So it's nothing crazy. You don't like actually need to buy those to get the characters done hero engravings today's a sad day kind of because it's aaron mikasa levi they usually do three or four 
but um obviously today we're getting three new characters so they're doing all three of those characters i was hoping to get like a gother merlin something like that you know but anyways uh more specific drop rate percentages percentages with less than five decimal points were rounded up as such all of the percentages added together may not exactly equal 100 percent before 1.28 after 1.275 what why what i'm dead uh anyways can adjust the death deathmatch invitation pop up by going to menu game settings notifications wait we've been able to do this though oh i guess they're it's they're talking about the updated one not this this is not what i'm here for that's my um yeah anyways we've we've been able to do this though notifications deathmatch settings yeah I mean, I, I'm granted, I get it. I guess they're just saying that for the sake of the Colossal Titan one. But, um, I mean, you've been able to do that, so I don't know. Can organize recipes. Yes! <laughs> Boys. All right, so um, with this update, you can now organize the recipes so you don't have to go look at every single one of them, right? Because on Global right now, on Global right now, right, it's just like this. And if you click right here, you can't you can't do anything. I just have to scroll through all of these to get what I want, right? Well, now you can basically organize it to however you want. If you only want to see, um, you know, if you only want gold or you only want attack or whatever the case may be, you can put it on whatever you want. Super, super nice quality of life update. I, I really appreciate that. Um, can check the most recent dishes this is very good as well so basically the recent dishes will be down here and you can just click the dish and it'll automatically put the resources in there if you have it which is amazing like these quality of life updates is why i always say grand cross is the best mobile like gotcha game because they bring these things to the game like there's not many games that bring as many quality of life updates to the game and like you gotta i know a lot some people are gonna say oh well dokkan did dokkan's been out for five years and Grand Cross has brought out just the same, like the same amount of quality of life updates. It's actually crazy. Grand Cross has been out on JP for a little over a year, um, and on JP, I mean on Global, it's been what f five months. So super amazing. Um, improve the UI when eating dishes in the team setting screen before a battle. Yeah, this is very nice as well. So now whenever you go to a battle, um, just it doesn't matter what. All right, let me go right here. Whenever you go to a battle and you click the food, there's going to be like a big um, UI, this this thing right here that pops up, and you'll, it'll show you all your food in orders of like what they are. It's so amazing. I'm telling I'm telling you guys, very, very good update. Uh, improve, improved upon the featuring regarding giving dishes to heroes. Okay, now you don't have to go, you don't have to do this because I've, I've had to do this for a lot, like a lot, a big part of this. Of these characters you don't have to do this anymore you don't have to just endlessly click you can now click this or well you can just click on here and then click that right there and it'll give it to them really really nice chat improvement no one chats i don't care about that um view blah 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 blah, blah, blah. we don't care about that all right um invite to deathmatch can send an invite message to another user after entering a deathmatch more specifically after creating a deathmatch lobby during the standby phase okay um Added a button to check a Knighthood member's login info at the top of the chat window. Added system. Wait. What do you mean login info? So we can check if they logged in the day before? Because if that's the case, boy. Y'all, A. Dude, if you in my guild, boy. I'm telling you. Um, added system settings. Notification will be displayed in the chat window. Okay. Drawing at Star Hero. Proceeding to boss, etc. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, constant patrol. Basically, it just automatically farms itself and you can pick a reward, which I'm going to always pick XP 100% um, Get rewards automatically over set periods of time can uh, immediately claim the reward once the meter is filled can accumulate rewards over a max period of 24 hours will remove the risk reward due to the inclusion of the okay Before clear chapter 5 now clear chapter 4. Okay, added the ability to hide the quick menu. Thank you added the favorite toggle nice I've talked about this but um on right now Whatever you, like, say, okay, let's, no, nah, let's not use this team because it has Gother on it. Let's look at this team right here. Say I want to put Gother on this team, right? You say it's right here. That's only because he's, you know, like, all the characters that are there are going to have it on there. But now let's say Gother 
is not there, right? Let's go here. Gother is all the way down here, right? So, it like, ran, it, it's like, it, it doesn't make sense how they organize the box. Like, both of my kings are down here. Um, all my DNs are down here. If you look at Merlin, she's, like, in the middle, which she's not here because she's being used. But all the Merlins are in the middle. All the Helbrums are here, Jericho's. It just puts, like, random characters at the top, which doesn't make sense. Like, I don't use Deldry. I don't use Arden, Doggyo, um, Death Pierce. None of these characters. Why are they up here? So it's super, super amazing that you can favorite characters now. And when you favorite them, it just puts them straight at the top. All your favorite characters, all at the top. Super amazing. Um, I really, really like that update. So, and then you can click favorites and it'll just do it for you. Able to give the gold you're able to at once when... Okay, so now you can give as much gold as you want to. Nice. Um, cool. Cool can check more details equipment set icon displays some salvaging edited some titles added a report button after a match in the visor oh so you can report people in pvp <laughs> yo they was like we sick of people cheating bruh pvp calculations participation calculation for pvp elite normal be done at the same time okay we'll be able to immediately participate after calculations are done okay that's nice Instead of having to go to each individual, you can get a both. Change percents for weak point. Weak point, instead of 60, 90, 150, is now 80, 110, 170. Golgius got the buff. He's still not getting you our gear. I don't want to hear it. Glad we got his talk. Added it, edited, um, added slash edit recovery disabling. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Merlin, Arthur, and Gustav on their rank one disables recovery skills. On rank two, it disables recovery skills for two turns. Oh God, King, 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 King. So now Arthur's level one is a debuff. Like all of his rank, all of these are debuffs now. If you look at Arthur, Arthur, where you at? Let me talk to you. Yeah, so now this rank one debuffs. And then the rank two debuffs for two turns and then the rank three, three debuffs for two turns, but it, um, it just does more damage. So that's a uh, Rip King, uh, not Rip King, but you know, detonate 15. Now it's 20% damage, which no one uses detonate. We don't care. SSR Melascula is added to the coin shop. Um, SSR Holy Knight DM part one. Cool. New titles, wealthy master collector, perfectionist. All right. And that is the update. So that is everything guys. That's the patch notes. That's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Comment down below. Tell me what you guys did in the comment section. With that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.